Hey guys, how you doing? DJ Jason Hooper here, and I am coming at you with my only surviving wedding of the year, April, I'm sorry, April, August 15th, 2020, here in Squim, Washington, uh, about half an hour from actually where I live. So, um, we got a tent wedding going on today, um, and this is kind of, you can see behind me, the setup, and I will kind of scan over there and you can check it out. So this is the where the reception is going to happen. The ceremony is going to be in a different spot. Set up today, Pioneer DDJ SX2, Apple MacBook Pro 16, Inno Pocket washes on the booth, the Yamaha DSX15 sub I believe, and then I've got my Windows laptop down here running Show Express up to the Akai controller, which is powering the um, Shave 4 bar try. And I'll get you a look from over here. So it's my setup. Um, I wanted to try and hang the light bar from the tent poles up there and kind of shine it up and wash the roof here. But my brackets weren't big enough and I have some clamp brackets I couldn't find. So we're just gonna run it up on the stand. I'm gonna phase that stand out as I go next year for sure. Yeah, white uh, Scrim King Scrim. Got my ADJ Pro Event table, the first version with my uh, logo on there. A little bit trepidatious about having branding or marketing or advertising at all on my table, but I figured it's pretty low key, so not that big of a deal. The interesting thing about today is we are running off the generator. So it's like a 3500 watt inverter generator. Nothing I haven't done before, but it's always just introduces a little bit more, I guess, worry or anxiety into it in terms of power, but it's fine. We'll make it work, and uh, like I said, I've done it before. It's been fine, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go set up the ceremony. I'll show you that here in a little bit. All right, guys, ceremony set up. Bose S1, connected to a Audio-Technica System 10. It's gonna run the lab mic over there at the Arbor. And uh, running Bluetooth music from the iPad, running DJ Pro, I believe. This is where I'll be. Find a good spot in the shade. All right, guys, I am dressed and ready to go here. At I forgot to mention, this is private property in Squim, Washington. Um, it is about 80 degrees, so I'm not going with a jacket today. I said, no, no thank you. Grooms, I think, not wearing a jacket either, so I think that's good. I'd probably be overdressed if I did. So anyway, uh, stay tuned guys. I'll bring you a gig log. It's been a while. I'm glad to be back a little bit rusty, not <laughs> kind of out of the uh, loop here, but um, hopefully you guys will get to see a little bit about uh, how my weddings go. Gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Cha-cha again. Cha-cha now, y'all. Cha-cha again. Turn it out. Walk 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the gig log. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, as you can see, uh, it was a fun event. The weather was beautiful. The crowd was great. My couple was great. And I kind of wanted to highlight uh, a few things about the video and give you some context. The first is that I have been getting to know and talking to this couple for about a year and a half. The bride was actually in a wedding party from a wedding I did a couple years ago and she booked me pretty quickly after that wedding to do their wedding and in that time we've gotten to know each other pretty well she's followed me on social media she's dropped me ideas and she's gotten to kind of see what I'm about as well and that really helped me plan um, music for their wedding and kind of get the idea of what they wanted because I've been talking to her for a year and a half almost getting these details figured out and also just kind of getting to know what they're about. I mean a couple things I wanted to highlight about that is the fact that you need to be professional or you need to be on your game at every moment at every gig because you never know who's there, who's gonna get married, who needs a DJ, um, and you can get a lot of business from past gigs and it's, uh, honestly a lot of my business comes from word-of-mouth referrals or from people who have seen um, me at weddings or at gigs before. The second thing is it really, I mean, the, the client matchup, I mean, we were a perfect match for each other in terms of um, the type of client that they are needing the type of DJ that I am. It just worked out really well. And a lot of what helps that is your voice and your brand and how you present yourself online. 
um, and on your social media. So really think about those things when you're out DJing and then when you're not DJing, when you're posting on social. Try and figure out who your ideal client is and how you're going to speak to them with your brand voice. But back to the wedding, you know, I'm kind of sad that it's over. It was, you know, a year and a half in the making and it was a lot of anticipation, especially with COVID going on. This is the only gig that survived this year. So I'm just, I'm really stoked it went well, but I'm also really sad that it's over because now I don't have anything going on for the rest of the year. Usually in the fall and winter, I'd be doing holiday parties and stuff like that, but I don't know if any of that's gonna happen. But speaking of COVID, you didn't see a lot of masks, you didn't see a lot of social distancing, and I think part of that was because they're all really close family and friends. It wasn't a huge wedding. I did my part, I had a mask. I didn't wear it because I was never close enough to anybody to actually need it. I had the hand sanitizer, the wipes that I was wiping down periodically. I wiped my mic down. I had individually wrapped windscreens for my microphone for toasters. So I did what I could do and I don't feel like it's my job to police my crowds or to tell my clients what they need to be doing to keep themselves safe. That's their business. Uh, my business is to do what I can do and protect myself and I think that I did that pretty well. And also, I really think that 2021 is going to be uh, off the hook. I think people are gonna come out of COVID and they're really gonna wanna party. I, I've been seeing that from this gig that I did and also the gig logs I've been watching online. People just wanna have a good time. I think now more than ever, they've been cooped up. There's been nothing but negative vibes going on in the world, so I just think that they really wanna party. And so 2021, prepare yourselves for that. Get your music right, get your library right, practice, set your business up to to collect massive leads through your website and through your social. Uh, get your ideal client nailed down and start speaking to them. Let your brand start speaking to them so you can get hooked up and start getting high quality gigs. You know, get ready because it's gonna go off I think in 2021. And I hope that I'm ready and I hope that you guys are ready too. Uh, lastly, I wanna talk about the, uh, there was a fight on my dance floor which is uh, kinda crazy. It's never happened to me before. I've heard of a couple of weddings that I've done where fights have occurred in the parking lot or outside or whatever, but I've never seen one on the dance floor like that. And I'm not particularly surprised because this particular gentleman Gentleman had been drinking since I first saw him before the ceremony. He was in my grill kind of all night, not in a bad way, but asking for really dumb requests and not taking no for an answer in a you know, non-threatening way, but he just didn't pick up on the cues. He wouldn't leave right away. People had to kind of distract him. And so eventually it, I think just came to a head and something happened. I got a bunch of stories from people who were around or who were involved. It was kind of a non-event. They got him you know, under control and escorted him out. And the, and the bride and the groom didn't really care. I think they knew who it was and they just told me to keep playing and we kept playing and dance for a couple hours. And that's another thing to think about. I put in my contract that my clients are responsible for the security of the event and they're responsible for the guests. That's not my job and my job is to play music and their job is to make sure they know who's there and escort people out who need to be escorted out or cut people off when to be cut off. Think about that type of stuff and make sure that you're protected in that regard. Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking the gig log out. And what are you guys doing to prepare for 2021? What are you guys up to? If there's anything I can do to help you out, uh, please let me know in the comments. Just let me know how you guys are preparing for next year. Cause like I said, I think it's gonna go off and I can't wait to play it. And I can't wait to see all the gig logs. That's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week with more content. Uh, I've got some ideas in the works and I'm going to start uh, crafting them into video format. So. Hope you guys have a great week. I'll catch you on the next one.